Hello, welcome to free school exam preparation. Today we are going to talk about Excel International AS and A levels, further pure mathematics one. Today's unit is unit seven series. And in this lecture, we are going to talk about the challenge questions in the textbook. So the first question is on page 120. So we need to find out this n to make this equation hold. So actually we notice here the r starts from n. However, so for the, all the formulas we have learned, the r starts from 1. So in this case, maybe we can change this to something starts from 1, right? So let's say if I have r starts from 1 to 2n and 12 minus 2r. So what's the difference between the, this one and also the left-hand side? So there are more terms in this r from 1 to 2n. So we need to take those terms out. So we minus, so r will be from 1 to n minus 1. Okay, so this one will be the same as the left-hand side. So now because we have the r starts from 1, r starts from 1 here, so we can use our formulas. So in this case, we can expand the um, brackets. So r to n and 12 minus 2 sigma r from 1 to 2 n r and minus sigma r from 1 to n minus 1 12 and as minus 2 r from 1 to n minus 1 r right so how many terms are here 2 n terms so we have 12 times 2 n and for this one I have 2 times we use a formula so 1 plus until 2 n and in total 2 n terms and for this one, we'll have 12 times in total n minus 1 terms. And here we have 2 times 2 and 1 to n minus 1. And in total, we have n minus 1 terms. So now maybe we can ex uh, expand the brackets. So we have 24n and minus 2n minus 4n squared. And this one inside will be 12n minus 12 and minus, so here is n, n squared plus n. So we'll have um, 24n squared, so 22n squared minus 4n, uh, so 22n, n minus 4n squared minus, so here is uh, how many n? 13n, and plus n squared plus 12. So this whole thing will be negative 3n squared plus 9n plus 12 equals to 0. So now we can just solve this equation. We divide negative 3 on both sides, so n squared minus 3n minus 4 equals to 0. So n minus 4 times n plus 1 equals to 0. So from here, we know n equals to 4 or negative 1. But this one is smaller than 0, so we can't have the negative number. So the answer will be n equals to 4. Okay, so that's the first question. Let's take a look at the second question. So here we want to find polynomial f2, f3, f4, such that for all n, these equations hold. So let's take a look at the first equation. So we have the sum here equals to n squared, and this is polynomial. So most likely, this will be a polynomial of degree 1. So probably we can write f2x as ax plus b. So let's just write the sum. So sigma r from 1 to n, a r plus b. Because we have f2r, so we change x to r here. So this will be a sigma r from 1 to n, r plus b sigma r from 1 to n times 1, right? So we just use the formula. So we have 2a. So here in total, uh, n terms. So 1 plus n times n. And here we have nb. So this should equal to n squared. So now we can just solve this. So maybe we can just expand this a little bit. So it will be 2a n squared plus a over 2 plus b together n. Because this holds for all n, so in this case, they must be equivalent. So we have a over 2, which is this term, equals to 1. And this thing needs to be 0. So we'll have a equals to 2, b equals to negative 1. So now we find our first um, polynomial f2x. 
Uh, maybe I'll just save some space for the, you know, the next question. I will just wipe this off. So we have this one is 2x minus 1. Okay, so I will just erase everything here because we are running out of space. Okay, so let's take a look at the next one. We want to have f3x. So what will be our f3x? Because we have the sum equals to n cubed. So most likely the f3x will be the, uh, a polynomial of degree 2. So f3x, we can write this as ax squared plus bx plus c. Okay, so what we can do here is I will just plug in this into the left-hand side. So we'll have um, sigma r from 1 to n, a r square plus b r plus c, right? So this will be a, so i just write the formula directly, so n, n plus 1, 2n plus 1. Okay, and then b, n plus 1, n. And then we have cn. Okay, so let's expand this one. So we have 6, 2a, n cube. And plus, here we have 6, so 3n, 3n, n square, plus um, 6, a, n. And here we have 2, b, n square, plus 2, b, n, plus c, n. So this whole thing will be the same as n cubed. So now we try to match the terms. So for the cubic term, we have 2a over 6 equals to 1. So we know a must be 3. And then for the quadratic terms, these two, right? Because there's no quadratic terms here. So we know 3a over 6 plus b over 2 must be 0. Because uh, a equals to 3, so we have b is to be negative 3. And finally, for the linear term, so we have a n over 6 plus b n over 2 plus c n equals to 0. So we have a is 3, so 3 over 6 minus 3 over 2 plus c equals to 0. So here we know c must be 1. Okay, so this one we can uh, change into um, 3x squared minus 3x and plus 1. Okay, so let's take a look at f4x. So f4x will be degree 3. So we just write this as ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d. And we plug into the left hand side, so we'll have a. So for, I just write the formula directly, so it's n squared n plus 1 squared plus 6bn n plus 1, 2n plus 1, and then plus 2c, n, n plus 1, n plus dn. So this whole thing equals to n4. And then you can just try to expand all these terms and find out, like for example, because we want n4, so in this case, for the n raised to the power 4, we should have 1. So actually we'll get a over 4 equals to 1. So we know a is 4. And then we can do the same thing for the other terms. So it turned out this f4x will have the answer. Let's just write here. Um, so it will be, give me a sec. So this will be 4x cubed and minus 6x squared plus 4x minus 1. Okay, so next question. So here we want to show for any linear quadratic or cubic polynomial, there always exists a polynomial gx such that this sum equals to n times hn. Okay, so what is this hx? It's a linear quadratic or cubic polynomial. So maybe we can do a little bit exercise here. So let's say hx is linear, right? So hx will be ax plus b. Okay, so what will be the right-hand side of this equation? So that will be n times a n plus b. So this will be a n squared plus b n. So what is n squared? Actually here, if you look at the left-hand side, we know we want to do the sum from 1 to n. 
So probably you can represent this n square with a sum from 1 to n. So where can we get this n square? Actually, it's from here, right? So we know a, so sigma r from 1 to n. So here is f2r. Actually, we know f2 already, so maybe I'll just write 2x minus, oh, so here, uh, yes, 2x minus 1, right? This is f2, uh, 2r minus 1, sorry, here should be r. So we have this is a, this whole thing is n squared. And then where do we get this bn? So actually, we can also write this into the sum, so r from 1 to n, so here is just 1. Okay, so now we combine them together, so we have sigma r from 1n, and we have 2ar minus a plus b. So this thing can be our gr, right? So the gx will be 2ax minus a plus b. So a and b here depend on what kind of polynomial hx is. Okay, so maybe we can try a different one. So let's make it more complicated. We'll do the cubic. So if hx equals to ax cubed plus bx plus c. So in this case, n times hn will be an4 plus bn3 plus cn. I'm oh, sorry, bx squared plus cx plus d. I'm missing lots of things. So cn squared plus dn. Okay, so where can we get n4? So from here, right? So we have a sigma r from 1 to n. So I will just write f4 here. So it will be 4r cubed minus 6r squared plus 4r minus 1. And plus b. So where can we get n cubed? So from f3. So r from 1 to n. So here, f3 is 3r squared minus 3r plus 1. And n squared is from f2. So cr from 1 to n, 2r minus 1. And finally, we have this n. n is from d times uh, r from 1, and here is 1. Okay, so we can reorganize everything. We just put the sum outside. So we have 4ar cubed minus 6ar squared plus 4ar minus a, and then plus 3br squared minus 3br plus b, and plus 2cr minus c plus b. Okay, so this whole thing will be our gr. So probably you can put them together, so it will be 4ar squared plus 3b minus 6ar squared, and then for this we have uh, 4a minus 3b plus 2c together r. And for the constant term, we'll have plus b minus a plus d minus c. Okay, so we have our polynomial gr. Okay, so that's how we do this question. Next one. So we want to show this equation holds. So let's take a look at this equation left hand side. So here we have two sigma. So usually we work on the inside sigma first. So I will just write here sigma i from 1 to n. So what will be the inside? So inside this we have the formula. So which is 6, but pay attention here is r is from 1 to i. So on the top I will have i, i plus 1, 2i plus 1. Okay, so that's the left hand side. And now I can expand this. So I have i from 1 to n. And 6, 2i cubed plus. So here is i, 3i. So 3i squared. And plus, uh, we'll have i. Okay, so we have 1 over 3 sigma i from 1 to n, i cubed. Plus 1 over 2 sigma i from 1 to n, i squared plus 1 over 6, i from 1 to n, i. Okay, so for the first term, we'll have 1 over 3, so 4, so this time it should be n, n squared, n plus 1 squared. And then for the next one, so 1 over 2, so 1 over, uh, so 1 over 6, n times n plus 1, 2n plus 1. And finally, we have 1 over 6 times 
here's 2. So it's n times n plus 1, right? So by looking at all these terms, so probably we can take out 1 over 12. We can also take out n and n plus 1. Okay, so what is left in the first term? So we have n times n plus 1. And for the next one, we have 2n plus 1. For the next one, we have 1 left. So we just organize a bit, n, n plus 1. And then we have n squared plus n, 3n plus 2. And this one, we can do a factorization. So it will be 1 over, um, 1 over 12, n, n plus 1, n plus 2 n plus 1. So you can put these two together. So that's exactly the right hand side. So just be careful. Every time we do this kind of like sum within sum, so we always do the inside sum first. Okay, so next question. So it's very similar to the top. We just need to pay attention um, like which index we are using. So the left hand side equals to, as we mentioned, from inside to outside. So we keep the first sum we keep the second sum. And the inside here is r from 1 to i. So it should be 1. So in total, there are i terms and 1 plus i. OK, so now we can work on this sum. So in this case, I need to expand this first, right? So this will be 1 over 2 sigma i from 1 to j and i plus 1 over 2 sigma i from 1 to j i square. Okay, so we keep the, fir, uh, the outside sum. So this one will be 1 over 2 times 1 over 2, so in total j terms 1 plus j. And here will be 1 over 2 times, so 6 uh, j, j plus 1, 2j plus 1. So just be very careful every time you use a uh, indices because you know this is j this is i so we need to understand which one is a dummy index and which one shows you know for example i is from 1 to j okay so now we work on this one so what we need to do is we organize this a little bit so we have sigma j from 1 to n and then we have 4 j plus 4 j square okay and then we have 12 so 2j cubed, um, 12. So here we have 3j squared, 3j squared, and then 12j. OK, so now we combine them. So this is cubed. So we have 1 over 6 sigma j from 1 to n, j cubed. And then we look at square. So this is 1 over 4. This is also 1 over 4. So it's 1 over 2, and it's from 1 to n j square and finally the linear term so 1 over 4 1 over 12 so it should be 1 over 3 sigma j from 1 to n and then we have j okay so we work on each in term so 1 over 6 so 4 so n square n plus 1 square so here 1 over 2 6 n n plus 1 2n plus 1 and then we have 1 over 3, 2, uh, 1 plus n times n. Okay, so from here, so sorry, let me just change the color because otherwise it looks a bit um, like uh, messy. So here we can take out 1 over 12 maybe. So we have 1 over, um, actually we can take out more, right? Because this is 1 plus, okay, so how about this? Let's take out 1 over 24. So we will, and also we can take out n, n plus 1. So 1 over 24 n, and n plus 1. So for the first one, what do we have left? We have n, n plus 1. And for this one, we have 2. And uh, because this is n, n plus 1, 2 n plus 1. And for this one, 6, so we have 4 n, oh, uh, actually, everything's gone here, right? Because n, n plus 1, so it's 4. Okay, so we have 1 over 24 n, n plus 1. So inside here, we have n squared plus n plus 4 n, 5 n. And then we have 2 plus 4, which is 6. 
So this one you can do a factorization, one, one, two, three. So you have one over 24, n, n plus one, n plus two, n plus three. Okay, so that's the last question in this chapter's um, ch challenge questions. So we hope you have enjoyed our lecture and wish you good luck with your exam. So if you are interested, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Free School Exam Preparation. Thank you.